I came across something interesting in my studies today, and I had to stop and dig a little deeper on this one. Now, it's still reason 14 why Ben Shapiro is an awesome guy who doesn't believe his own prophets, but it's just not a short one, because I found something in these texts that really intrigued me. I want to find out who the destroyer is in Exodus chapter 12. Listen, in verse 21 it begins, Then Moses called all the elders of Israel and said to them, Go and select lambs for yourselves, according to your clans, and kill the Passover lamb. Take a bunch of hyssop and dip it in the blood that is in the basin, and touch the lintel and the two doorposts with the blood that is in the basin. None of you shall go out of the door of his house until the morning, for the Lord will pass through to strike the Egyptians. And when he sees the blood on the lintel and on the two doorposts, the Lord will pass over the door and will not allow the destroyer to enter your houses to strike you. Now, I've read this before, but this time it really knocked me back on my heels. The idea that the destroyer would have destroyed them as well if they didn't have the blood on the doorpost. It seems to be accepted that the identity of the destroyer is unknown, but there is another passage that I think might give us a hint. It's in 2 Kings chapter 19. Therefore thus says the Lord concerning the king of Assyria, He shall not come into this city, or shoot an arrow there, or come before it with a shield, or cast up a siege mount against it. By the way that he came, by the same he shall return, and he shall not come into this city, declares the Lord. For I will defend this city to save it, for my own sake and for the sake of my servant David. That night the angel of the Lord went out and struck down 185,000 in the camp of the Assyrians. And when people arose in the morning, behold, these were all dead bodies. The book of Proverbs says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And if you were looking for a reason to fear the Lord so that you can begin in wisdom, that's a really good verse to start with. Now, I'm not saying for certain that the angel of the Lord is the destroyer in Exodus, but it's definitely a decent theory considering his kill count in the Second Kings chapter 19. I know we took a tangent there, and you might be wondering why this is one of the reasons why Ben Shapiro doesn't believe his own prophets. Well, that's because he said that his problem with Christianity is the idea that someone else can take the punishment for the sins that he is responsible for. Now, that seems like a very noble thing to say. But the wrath of God was poured out in Egypt that day. And people died. Why did they have to put the blood of the lamb on the doorpost? It's because the destroyer was there. The wrath of God incarnated. If the wrath of God did not see the blood of the lamb on the door, he would have went in and killed the Israelites also, because he did have genuine wrath against them because of sin. They were conceived in sin, but their sins were temporarily forgiven in that moment in the presence of the wrath of God behind the doorpost covered in blood. Though that wouldn't be enough to ultimately save them from the wrath of God over their sins and death, they would still later need a Messiah, and they would still need the faith of Abraham to make it into the kingdom after death. Now today, the blood of Jesus Christ is that lamb, and the doorpost is over your heart. On Judgment Day, if you have the blood of Christ on your doorpost, the wrath of God will pass over you. You will enter into new creation. And the riches of his glory and mercy will be made known to you for an eternity.